Hey guys, it's Roger the Mechanic again, and today um, I'll be reviewing an OBD2 scanner called JetHax V311 off Amazon. As you can see, it comes in a pretty sturdy hard case that'll protect it in case you drop it by mistake. Um, and this is how the scanner looks. As you can see, it also has a pretty good backing for a case at the back. And even though the screen looks a little scratched, it's not really scratched. It has a screen protector, so don't have to worry about scratching it or anything like that. And in order to get started, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to my car. Uh, most cars have an OBD2 port under the steering wheel somewhere. In this case, I'm working on a 2004 Toyota Camry, and the port's about somewhere in the middle below the steering wheel. So once you hook that up, you take the key and put it onto the on position, but don't start the car. And once the car is on the on position, then you can see we have six different menus. OBD Diagnose, Data View, Review, IM View, tool setup and help. Okay, so the first thing I'll be doing is showing you the OBD diagnosis. And as you can see the scanner loads pretty quick. So now you can see this car has no D DTC stored in the ECU which means there's no check engines um, the readiness is complete. The readiness not completed is zero, which that's a good thing, which means that you can take this car anywhere for emissions testing and it's automatically just going to pass inspection. However, if you're trying to use the scanner and buying a used vehicle, if the readiness not completed is like one, two, three, four, five, something like that, the DTCs in the ECU might say zero, but if that the readiness not completed is something high, that means the previous owner reset the check engine light. So that can tell they're hiding an issue, they're trying to scam you or something like that, but this is a really good scanner to check that. Another way you can check that is, if I go back, the scanner also has an IM view, which that automatically takes you to the monitor readiness. So. If you're not worried about check engine lights on, you just want to see if it'll pass inspection immediately, you could just click on that I am readiness and it'll tell you since the last time the check engines were cleared, is it ready? And you can see how it says OK on everything and the stuff that's not applicable will say NA. So this is a quick way to just check if you don't want to look for the check engines or other stuff. So another cool thing the scanner has is it has a data view. And what this basically does is you can se select certain modules in your car and it'll show you a graph of the data. So let me show you guys how that works. I go to view graphic items. So now for example if I want to get a graph of the engine coolant temperature I'll go ahead and click enter on that and then go back. So now let me go ahead and start the car so it'll make the graph. And the car is pretty cold, we haven't driven it in a while. So as you can see it shows 122 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So what's going to happen now, slowly the, it, the engine temperature is going to increase. Now you can see it's gone to 125. And until it gets in the certain temperature point where it stays good, it's going to keep increasing. So, but this is just to show you how the graphing works. So this is a pretty cool thing. You can check your O2 sensors. If they're working correctly, you can check your engine coolant temperature, etc. Now let me go back again. To the main menu. Um, tool setup is basically 
if you want to change the measurement of units, for example, miles per hour or kilometers, or if you want to change your language. Right now I have the beep off so it doesn't beep when I click the buttons, but if you do want to enable the beep, you would just turn this on right here. And then help basically will show you any help menu. Thanks, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, share, and subscribe.